So I'm, I'm trying out the TH3D bed leveling system. Just installed it. And it's going to start the leveling endeavor. I scraped my table, but I didn't actually clean it very well just to see what would happen. And it's starting the bed leveling. There we go. That's one, good. And now she should check another nine points all over the table. I should actually change the position of that clip. Uh, I'm gonna be printing some tiny uh, maker skull symbols and I've chosen to do them at the corners of the table one in the center and one in each of the corners just to see if that works it's a crazy test it it, it actually shouldn't work I, I'll be I'll be very pleasantly surprised if it does work and I'll be satisfied if three out of five stick so that's sort of work what I'm looking forward to Everything is a little bit loud, so sorry about that. And actually we should be starting to see something sometime around now. Okay, let's go and close in. See how that came out. I'm doing 150% thickness on the first layer and I'm going 0.3 millimeters on the first layer just to help things out. So that actually looks really good. That looks pretty good as well. I did level my bed before this though. Just I manually leveled it before before the, the system started working, but I was never able to get full use of my table. That's actually one of the reasons I purchased the TH3D ABL Pro. It took me a couple of tries to install it. Uh, the video. The TH3D video differs a bit from what is currently on the on the program, but it was probably just because I'm an idiot, not for any probably really good reason. <clears throat> that actually looks pretty good. I sort of wasn't expecting all of them to stick. I mean, this is this is a pretty ridiculous test. Oh, I'm also going really, really. I'm going stupid fast. So, we'll see what happens to that. I figured that they have to stick beautifully and perfectly, otherwise they'll, they'll just fall off.
<laughs> oh my god, that stuck as well. Oh, that's stuck. Okay. <laughs> this stuck. That's pretty cool. Again, this is going stupid fast. This is just this is just a torture test. It's just this was actually a test to see how much I could push the the sensor before it failed. But I guess I'm not pushing it hard enough. And I mean, it's ridiculous. This is awesome, incredible, Tim. Good job, man. Very good job. Congratulations to everybody on TH3D Studios, because. This thing is magic. It's almost me-proof. I mean, remember the Ivoid warranty shirt? Well, I broke it.